Welcome back to the second video. It's like I was always here and now I'm back again. All right, so we're gonna delve into this first part of aerobic respiration. This video is all about glycolysis. Okay, so glycolysis, we can have a look right here. It's happening in the cytosol uh, and we're gonna be talking about this process in the middle here. So with cellular respiration, what is our general equation? So our general equation for cellular respiration is the opposite to the one we had for photosynthesis. So this time we're going to use glucose plus oxygen goes to carbon dioxide plus water. And then I'm gonna use another color just to make this stand out. We also get ATP. All right, so it's not a chemical, so I'm not putting it within my equation there. But the first one that I'm going to focus on is glycolysis. So I'm going to put a link to this video for you. I'm not going to play it as part of this because that's a bit meta, playing a YouTube clip within a YouTube clip. Um, he goes into, he's very funny, he goes into a lot more detail than what you need to know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step you through what happens in glycolysis and then I'm going to give you one slide and that one slide is going to be the core information that you have to take away from this. So the dot point, this looks really confusing. Yeah, and that's because it is. This is probably second or third year uni. Okay, so I don't want you to, to memorize this whatsoever. What we are going to look at though, is we're going to look at what do we do with glucose first? So glucose gets into our cells, what are we gonna do with it? So the biggest thing with glucose, so it keeps going, so lots and lots of different processes. This is a metabolic process. Do you remember that discussion we had about metabolic processes? So metabolic processes are a series of steps where the product of one becomes the substrate for product of this reaction becomes the substrate for the next reaction. Okay, and you can see that we've got one reaction, two reactions, three, four and five over here. We can see we've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten little reactions just to get ourselves down to the end. But I'm going to ignore all of that detail and I'm going to focus on this bit here. Okay, this is a nice little diagram because it shows us what the chemicals are that go into glycolysis and what comes out of glycolysis as well as what's being used up in the process. So the first thing we can see here is our big input. Our first input is definitely glucose. Okay, we're gonna input some glucose. We're also, can you see how we're using two ATP, but we're also using four ADP? So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to cross out the ones that we don't need. Okay, so we're looking at the net reaction here. So when we're looking at a net reaction, is the net reaction is two ADP plus PI on this side and two ATP on this side. Okay, you can see over here, I've got NAD plus. So this is a different electron carrier compared to what we used in photosynthesis. This one here is NAD plus. So it's not NADP plus because we're not in photosynthesis anymore. We've taken away the P, no more photosynthesis. And now we're going to NAD plus. So NAD plus, is going to be our unloaded form of the enzyme, uh, co unloaded coenzyme here. We're going to load it up with a proton and it's going to become NADH here. This is my loaded coenzyme. So that's the only new coenzyme I want us to learn today. So just to summarize that, you can see that inputs are in blue. So my inputs. I'm going to summarize all this in a second. Uh, one glucose, two NADP, two NAD plus, and two ADPs. And then what my outputs are, we end up with two pyruvate plus two ATP and two NADH. So we've got some loaded coenzymes. This one here is a lot, a lot nicer to see what we have that goes in and goes out. Um, 
You don't need to focus on these numbers here, but if you want to, you're welcome to learn them. So we put in one glucose molecule. We use some of the, when we break it apart, because this is a catabolic reaction, we're going to break apart the glucose into two pyruvate acid or pyruvate. And we're also going to, in the process, create my coenzymes here. I'm going to create a coenzyme in NADH and my energy carrier here of ATP. So it is important, though, that you notice here that we have two ATP. Okay, so there's only a few that we need to know the numbers. And that's where I'm going to finish this video.